Oh my fucking, look at the size of that. What, get the fuck out of here. Just like all of them, they're everywhere. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Right, you have a good day, I'm Going to see our congressman today. See if I can get him to get the FBI to stop raping my daughter. It's a Republican congressman. So they don't bother putting the office anywhere near public transportation. I had to take two buses and now I have to walk two miles in the summer heat. I know it's not summer, but it feels like summer. Just to get to my congressman. I think that's the congressman's office. I think. Oh, please, God, just let it be. Found it. Okay, okay knock. Hi, I'm sorry to drop in on you like this. I, I just walked two miles from the bus stop, so if you could give me two minutes. I just moved to Austin. Part of the reason I moved here is because I saw your boss on C-SPAN and he looks like the real deal. Okay, and he's, I, he's not I, no, 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 I don't no, expect it, it, to talk to him. I don't, I don't work for uh, Chip Roy. I work for Healthshare, but okay. his office is in there, but yeah. So. I, I need, I, I have a constituent situation is there someone there I can talk to? I no, I no don't. No one's in the office. I but you, if you want to take a picture of that, you can contact him by email. No, I can't. I really, I really can't. Yeah. You wouldn't believe the story if I told you. The FBI spent. I stood up at a meeting and pissed off the wrong people, and they ruined my life. We know who you are. You can't hide behind this anymore. Do not take our medicine. You don't want to declare war on us. If we have to start having protests in front of your individual houses. If we have to take the protest to you, this will get as ugly as you decide it has to get. It's gonna get as ugly as it has to get before you decide to do the right thing. We're not asking you to do the wrong thing. We're asking you to actually do the right thing. And I see the way that uh, it's well known throughout the state that Mr. Bill Horn is the leader of this. He's on point, as they say. And this will not stand. This, you will not take our freedom away. I know it sounds like a crazy story, yeah. but if I email it, they're not gonna get it. I, yeah. There's no one there. No, his, no one in Chip's office is here today. Yeah, only the health, I work for HealthShare, so only so HealthShare people are here. You guys just share the office, is that what it is? He just rents out like a little office, uh, yeah. So, but the best way. And I, it's, I'm telling you, man, you don't understand. The FBI has ruined no, or, my life. Or the IRS, FBI. No, you know, they raped my daughter. Oh, jeez. They, they, she has multiple personality disorders, so they hypnotize. They have, they've had hypnotizing her. I, I'm not making it up. It's, no, no. I have it all on YouTube. No, but I'm telling you, if I leave and try to call or try to email, they're never going to hear from me. Can I leave a note? If I write down, can I just take a couple minutes to write something down and hand it to you? That would thank you. And, and this this is for you. You check out my yeah, YouTube page. Cool. And I'm not kidding, man. I have videos of seven seven different hypnotists that have tortured and just they destroyed this poor girl's life. Here's the list. Hypnotist number one was Josh. Small world, huh, man? What's up, boy? How you doing? Good. How you doing? Fine. Right. I want to talk to you about something. Your hypnotist, your hypnotist training. You always used to talk about hypnosis. The redhead that started her on this fucking everybody hypnotize her and rape her whenever they feel like it path. You always used to talk about hypnosis. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you recalling this some movie and some some you know crazy psychedelic trip that you were on sometime? That there was a little leprechaun in. It. There's a correlation there, and you're figuring it all no, out. No, you talked own. in depth about. Uh, to you. Yeah. Okay, whatever, man. At talking. your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. That was followed by John and Johnny, who had similar names, so Johnny could rape her when he convinced her that she that he was John, who she was dating. And my pants came down, and Dick went in, and I said, "Oh, John," thinking it was John. And it wasn't, by the time I figured this out was when I realized because he was going down on me and there were two teeth missing in the front of his fucking face. That was it. So 
So you thought it was John who you were dating, but it was really it was John. Re- I, yep, I thought it was John, and it was found out later it was Johnny. And even when I found out later, I confronted him later even too, and said, I can't believe that was you, dude. And you should have knew better because I said John, not Johnny. You, I, why didn't you tell him no? I didn't tell him no at the time because I thought it was John. You didn't tell Johnny no because you thought it was John. Yeah, I didn't tell it. Johnny no because I thought it was John. Then there's Dusty and Jace. <laughs> Stop it! Fuck, dude! Fuck! <laughs> what is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> I said, stop doing what you're doing. Stop doing that because it's gonna fucking have repercussions. But now we're on to number six and seven, Julian and Patrick. And I know why I did what I did last night when I was in Julian's van. He, and I remember because my pants were half off and uh, shit wasn't right. I told him no. So why the fuck is he doing that? You don't know me, you piece of shit. A narc says what? The fuck is wrong with you? A narc says what? A narc. You're such a fucking cunt. No, you're just doing this for the fun of it. <laughs> you narc piece of shit. Why are you guys so being with each other like that? That's weird. Is somebody listening? Anybody listening to the true story of why Victoria gets raped and robbed on a regular basis? It's a hell of a story and Julian's one of the stars of it. They fired me from my last 11 jobs. Two jobs ago, I was fired by my union representative. So just out of curiosity, Chad, um, so the union can't write a union, how would they... So what they, would happen is that what? you would document it and you would get Kevin or Jason involved. Yeah, yeah. would be the one that would write the person up. Okay. Well, that's, that was so, the plan. Is me and right. Kevin are going to sit down with Jerome on Friday and, and give him the write-up. Right. But he needs, I mean... Because at the end of the day, members don't write other members up. But I've written them up before and I didn't realize that was a... supposed to. Okay. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to document and then get the managers involved like Kevin. I will be more but than again, happy but, to work with you if you will let me know what's going on and I can partner with Kevin to help out Dwight yeah. to follow up on these things, okay? So you're not getting caught in the middle and then it just frustrates your team even more. Suppose no, we're not here for you to apologize for that last meeting, huh? No, um, unfortunately we're here because we are going to separate today. Okay? And why is that? Um, due to creating a hostile work environment. How okay? so? I think you know what's going on. I it's think gotten worse with taking some pictures. And pictures. The team is upset with you taking pictures. Of. Okay. Uh, you're going to tell me what I'm doing before you I'm fire me. You. No, you're not telling me. You're saying you're not going to tell me. So please, as I'm much as you can you give me. I've created a hostile work environment, taking pictures of things the employees are doing, trying to catch them and things they're doing. Good evening. This is Kevin speaking. Hey, Kevin. It's Seth. I got a question for you. What is it? Well, um, y- all this time that we've been trying to get Kat in trouble for all the things she does wrong, you kept telling me to document everything. And? I got fired for documenting. <laughs> That's specifically the reason they fired me. Well, I mean, you were sitting right there. She said she was firing me for taking pictures of stuff the staff did, and that's what you told me to do. I'll see the what extreme she was talking about on that. Okay. All right. All right. I'll have to talk to her. All right. I'll shout at, I'll shout at her tomorrow. All right. Let me know. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Really? Just to tell you how weird shit's getting. And I know it sounds crazy, like I don't even... Six years ago I walked into Congressman McCarthy's office the same way to try to do this, and they they wouldn't listen to me, they just wouldn't even help. Jeez. So where are you from? Um, well, California originally, but I've been in Missouri for the last 
uh, five years, which is when they fired me from my last two jobs. Wow. The, uh, the very last job, you know, Sprouts Farmer's Market. Okay. They, um, they forced me, the manager forced me to take a promotion in the deli as an assistant manager while the manager decimated the department for four months. So for four months, I'm trying to fix things. She's selling expired product, won't rotate food. He keeps moving me from day shift to overnights to mornings. I, I couldn't see straight. And finally, I raised my voice at her because she left a 10 pound bag of shrimp, frozen shrimp, in a cardboard box on top of an entire rack of cooked food overnight oh. to the frost. So I raised my voice and I said, you, I didn't swear, I just said you're an idiot, you know, you're bad at your job. They fired me for that. Wow. And 10 month, a 10 day investigation, they made me wait for 10 days. And in that investigation, they, caught, they showed my assistant manager of the store, who was my friend, who doesn't work there, told me afterwards. The entire investigation was showing him a picture from my YouTube page saying, wow. do you recognize that? Is that Seth? He goes, yeah. And then I was fired. He said, I'm going to send you a picture of this person. I just want you to confirm that it is or is not Seth. And what he sent me was a fucking screenshot from one of your YouTube videos. Was it a video of me? I didn't have any but, videos at Sprouts. What was the video? No, it was, you were just, you were just sitting in a room. You looked like you were uh, sitting, it was, there was like nothing in the background, like a white wall or something. He showed you that and picture was, from my YouTube video to confirm that it was me. Yeah. Wow, bro. And I mean, I was like, yes, this is Seth. And that's, that's it. So if that doesn't sound weird to you to spend four months to get me to raise my voice and then fire me. And like I said, the job before I was fired by my union rep yeah. and that doesn't even make sense, but I have it all on video. Yeah. I'm not, I know it sounds crazy, but it's all there. Don't mind me just walking two miles back to the bus stop from my congressman's office where some strange guy who came out of the congressman's office said nobody was back there and that he didn't work for the congressman, which I believe, but I'm pretty sure he was a fed because why would the people who rent the office to Congressman Roy be coming out of the actual door that's marked Congressman Roy? Like the outer spot where I was, that's their office. Why would they be in his office when no one's there? Who rents an office and then hangs out when they're not there? And I heard people back there, so that was all for nothing. Great. Only got to walk another mile back to the bus stop, though. Hooray. Oh, God have mercy on my soul. You're being followed. No way. Like, you've never seen that before. No, I've never seen cops come up to me and start shit like this. No, this is the first time. Well, it's recent. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Yesterday. So can you leave me alone? Yesterday. Yesterday what? Yesterday you flipped me off. Did I? Yeah. I don't remember that. Thank you for bringing that up, though. That's fucking Christ. And now cops. Arresting cops. So now I gotta walk three blocks back. Did you not know how to pull over? Or are you fucking with me intentionally? Or what's happening here? What's that? You have what? No, I wanna know why you just made me walk four fucking blocks. 16. I just, it was 16. So you went by 16th, just to be clear. And now we're where? Where am I? 12th, right? You just made me walk four fucking blocks. 